Your Excellency, Honorable Uru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to today's ceremony where two documents will be exchanged. The first is an MOU on bilateral cooperation in the field of agriculture and allied sectors. May I invite from the Kenyan side, Mr. Willie Bett, Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, and from the Indian side, Sri Amar Sena, Secretary, Economic Relations, Minister of External Affairs, to exchange the documents, please. <laughs> Next is a line of credit agreement for US dollars 100 million to the government of Kenya for agricultural mechanization. This will be exchanged on the Kenyan side by Mr. Henry Rotich. Cabinet Secretary, National Treasury, and on the Indian side, by Sri Yaduvendra Mathur, Chairman and Managing Director, Exim Bank. <laughs> Excellencies, this concludes the exchange of agreement ceremony. I now invite my colleague, the spokesperson of the Ministry of External Affairs, to take over. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> We will now have press statements by the two leaders. May I first invite the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narin Modi ji, to deliver his press remarks. Your Excellency, President Uru Kenyatta, distinguished delegates, members of the media, friends, exactly six months ago, I had the pleasure of visiting Kenya. President Kenyatta and I and the people of Kenya received me with great warmth and genuine affection. And today, I'm delighted to welcome President Kenyatta and his delegation in India. The close association between our two countries each of course, much older. India and Kenya fought together against colonialism. Just last month, President Kenyatta recognized the contribution of Makhan Singh, an Indian bond trade union leader joining hand with his Kenyan brothers to help over to help overthrow the colonial order in Kenya. Common belief in democratic values, our shared developmental priorities, and the warm currents of the Indian Ocean bind our societies. Friends, in our discussions today, President and I reviewed the full range of our relationship. During my visit to Kenya last year, we had identified deepening of economic cooperation as one of the key focus areas of our efforts. In this context, Expansion of bilateral trade, greater flow of capital between the two economies, and stronger development partnership are among our priorities. Yesterday, President Kenyatta led a strong and high-level delegation to the 8th Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. Your participation in vibrant Gujarat has generated a strong interest in India, Indian businesses to connect with commercial and investment opportunities in Kenya. We want and will encourage industry and businesses in both countries to take the lead in exploiting opportunities 
इन हेल्थ केयर टूरिज्म इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एग्रीकल्चर ब्लू इकोनॉमी एंड एनर्जी द ज्वाइंट बिजनेस काउंसिल मीटिंग टूमारो वुड वर्क टू बिल्ड कॉमर्शियल एंगेजमेंट थ्रू स्पेसिफिक प्रोजेक्ट्स इन दीज एरियाज टू बूस्ट ट्रेड वी आर ऑल्सो कोऑपरेटिंग ऑन ट्रेड फैसिलिटेशन मेजर्स इंक्लूडिंग स्टैंडर्ड डाइजेशन एंड रिलेटेड एरियाज ब्रॉड बेस्ड एंड वाइड रेंजिंग कॉपरेशन इन एग्रीकल्चर एंड फूड सिक्योरिटी is our shared priority we are collaborating to raise agriculture productivity in kenya the line of credit agreement of 100 million dollars signed for agriculture mechanization would open a new dimension of engagement long term arrangement with kenya for production and import of pulses is being explored and discussed we would also be happy to share best practices in organic farming with kenyan farmers in the health sector bhabatron machine has been delivered to the Kenyatta National Hospital for Cancer Treatment related capacity building of the Kenyan doctors is being undertaken under our India Africa Forum Summit initiative partnership in education is creating new connection between our people we have a strong relationship with the University of Nairobi where a chair for indian studies has been established by iccr and renovation of its library is also being undertaken with indian assistance on energy we value kenya's support of the international solar alliance and our joint efforts to harness the energy of the sun to power our economic growth friends the challenges in the maritime domain are a shared concern but we would also explore opportunities in blue economy we are focused on speedy progress in our defense cooperation some of the specific areas of priority would be hydrography communications network anti piracy capacity building exchanges and defense medical cooperation we are also partnering to strengthen our security cooperation and capacities we have directed the joint working group on security cooperation to meet at an early date i would focus on cyber security counter terrorism combating drugs narcotics human trafficking and money laundering friends the large indian origin community of kenya is a vital and energetic link between us I have discussed with President Kenya Ta ways to engage them with our trade, investment, and cultural exchanges. In our meeting last year, President and I had also agreed to accord close and personal supervision of the implementation of our decisions. We need to ensure its. continue rigor excellency once again on behalf of the people of india and on my own behalf i thank you for accepting our invitation 
and honoring us with your presence both in Gujarat and in Delhi. Thank you. Thank you very much. I thank the Prime Minister for his statement. May I now invite His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, to deliver his press remarks. The Right Honourable Mr. Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of India, members of the press, members of the delegations here, I want to take this early opportunity to thank you, Prime Minister, for your invitation. Indeed, it is a great honor to be received here in New Delhi, a day after our very fruitful engagements at the eighth vibrant Gujarat summit. At this summit, I encouraged Indian investors and companies to make Kenya their base and indeed to take advantage of the East African community and the common market for East and Southern Africa commercial markets. This is because the relationship between India and Kenya in the political, social, and economic spheres, in particular trade and investment, have grown over time. Our cooperation extends also to the multilateral level, and here we shall collaborate on matters that affect our two countries. For example, we are both committed to reforming and strengthening the United Nations Security Council. We will continue also to work together on other issues that jointly affect us. Ladies and gentlemen, tourism and trafficking in drugs and human beings, as the Prime Minister has mentioned, are two common challenges that we face. And Kenya is committed towards eradication of this menace and it's unswerving to work with like-minded states like India to put an end to this menace. These are global challenges that we must overcome together. On our bilateral matters, I want to take this opportunity to thank the Prime Minister and the people of India for offering scholarships and training opportunities for my men and women. My government has placed great emphasis on the need to upgrade the skills and competencies of its workforce as we progress towards being a fully-fledged middle-income economy. I did further request the Prime Minister for further scholarships in areas such as medicine, pharmacy, dentistry, and ICT, which are relevant to our national development priority areas. I believe that opening up and expanding trade and investment opportunities in our two countries will provide avenues for our youth to be meaningfully engaged and contribute to the noble venture of nation building and poverty eradication. As the Prime Minister has said, our two peoples have traded with each other for generations. Our trade and investment ties are of great mutual benefit. I am keen to increase the volume and values of our exports to India through shifting its export base from agriculture and mineral-based raw products to value-added manufacturing products, and we are seeking partnership with India in technology transfer to increase our capacity to add value to our natural products. I did also indicate to the Prime Minister that there are numerous investment opportunities in Kenya, particularly in agro-industries, and Kenya is establishing special economic zones 
in Mombasa and along our newly developed standard gauge railway. I invite Indian investors to take advantage of the infrastructure that my government has laid down, including the modern port of Mombasa. To help bridge the balance of trade deficit that exists, I have indeed pitched for India to improve market access for products with high demand in India, such as leather products and pulses. I request India to consider extending the project targeting African cotton growing countries to Kenya, as this will also help to increase cotton production. We've also encouraged the joint trade committees of both countries to continue meeting and identifying feasible ways in which our bilateral trade can be enhanced. India's strength in the provision of health services is globally acknowledged. Indeed, many of our country men and women travel to India every year. Advanced technology coupled with price competitiveness makes your country a preferred destination for thousands of Kenyans seeking quality health care. The establishment of a cancer hospital and provision of treatment equipment supported by the Indian government is also greatly anticipated as it will also go a long way to ensure that quality, affordable treatment is available also for Kenyans who cannot afford to travel to India. Kenya relies heavily on generic antiretroviral drugs manufactured in India, ensuring that these drugs are available to people infected with HIV AIDS is also a top priority for my government. And I want to thank India for its leadership in this area and for the generous donation of a consignment of antiretroviral drugs to Kenya. Kenya would all also benefit greatly from collaborations in transfer of technology, from investment by Indian pharmaceuticals in Kenya, given the large market and demand for these drugs in our region. I am confident that agreements and memorandum of understanding signed between our two countries will provide a framework of collaboration in diverse areas. Indeed, as the Prime Minister has again mentioned, I do request both sides to immediately work on their implementation as well as the other agreements we reached in Nairobi. I acknowledge the progress that we have made in many areas so far, and I look forward to collaboration in the new areas that we have today discussed. I note <clears throat> that our two countries granted increased frequencies to each other's airlines in the year 2015. And I encourage the airlines to exploit the infrastructure laid down by the Bilateral Air Services Agreement to increase connectivity and mobility of our people to improve people-to-people -people and business-to-business -business contacts. In conclusion, I say again that I appreciate the useful deliberations that we have held with the Prime Minister and look forward to further engagements in the future. Thank you very much. I thank the two leaders for their statements. This concludes the joint press briefing. Thank you all.